very fortunate here because we have a wonderful PTO and they um, jumped right on board and was, was very willing to help us out in purchasing Mimeos for all the classrooms. They realized from hearing from their kids about how exciting it is to be able to use a Mimeo. So they helped us tremendously with partial funding for the Mimeos in all the classrooms. It's really helped enhance teaching and learning. which the kindergartners always love to do. They're very engaged when they're doing it, they're learning. It definitely keeps the attention of the students. They all want to have a turn to go up to the Mimeo. They all want to have a chance. And it's wonderful because they're learning along the way with that. They're, um, it's no longer like the old flashcard type thing where it kind of gets boring. They just never know what's going to pop up, what noise is going to happen. And, you know what they're going to be able to do by controlling their what we call magic pen in kindergarten. It reaches all levels in the classroom where you know sometimes you might be struggling with your high students, you might be struggling with your low students, but all students are definitely engaged in the it just brings in like the video game atmosphere and it kind of ties them in that way but they're learning at the same time. I think the biggest benefit is it's an interactive tool that teachers can adapt to their instruction to help enhance learning, make it more fun, it's interactive, it's very engaging for students um, and it, it just kind of brings lessons to life. It just kind of opens up a new way of, of learning and captures their attention in a way that maybe traditional approaches to teaching concepts and, and, and units of study don't do. You know, it's really easy. Directions are right on the box of what goes where. Plug it in, put it to your board, and turn your computer on, and it was really, it was really easy. I didn't even know how to put it on my board. You know, I, I didn't know what to do. Now I feel like, like my uh, student teacher thinks I'm a pro at it, but I wasn't. <laughs> yeah, I've even made some with your templates and things, you know, like Jeopardy and, and a few things that it was like, wow, this is easier than you think. At the beginning of the day, the students can check in with the Mimeo attendants and also choose their lunch. We use the um, electronic calendars for calendar time to work on math concepts. Um, several times throughout the week we do like our scholastic news game activity on it. It's become routine in the classroom and all the kids know how to use it and love it. It's the backbone of a lot of my instruction. When they are looking forward to going to that next center because they see the other kids over there having so much fun with it. My best thing in a moment probably is when kids have said to me, um, we forgot to do a Mimeo today. The kids, how they feel and how we feel as teachers. Those are great moments. A lot more centers. Instead of me standing up there teaching, the students are able to participate a lot more. You know, I, I love having small group settings. You know, I can do a small group at the front table with my Mimeo. I can have another small group with iPads. I can have another small group with me delivering instruction. You know, instead of having five or six kids who are sleeping in the back and uh, three more that are reading their book and two more that are just spacing off, you can have everybody engaged and it, it really, really helps out with instruction. I think I use a lot more manipulatives than I ever have just because the electronic manipulatives on the interactive whiteboard are so much easier to not have to store, but easier to access quickly. So before Mimeo, it was definitely kind of more, I want to say, like a flashcard, practicing, everything was down on paper. But now with Mimeo, it's interactive, it's engaging to the students, the students are excited to use it, and it keeps everyone on task and involved. So it's just this amazing learning tool that they're not even really realizing they're necessarily learning with. I guess I can't imagine my classroom without it at this point. Um, after incorporating it into so much of my instruction and um, seeing the progress and the, I guess, dynamics of the class change and finding different ways to differentiate instruction, I, 
I can't see my class without.